Hello, this is Long Wine, and today I will show you how to speed up your computer. Now, these steps are for Windows XP, Vista 7, and 8. And if you, and for XP, it's a little different, but I will show you how. Okay. The first step is to delete any files you don't need. That is not to speed up your computer, it's just free up hard space, hard drive space. These are the basic steps. So, so I'm. I'm going to show you this, how to generally improve the performance of the computer. The first step is to disable the fancy appearance. Now, on your computer, you will have a lot of animations like minimizing, maximizing. You don't need those because they affect memory and processing performance. So what you would do is go to this PC, properties, and advanced, and go to advanced system settings. For Windows XP, just go to advanced and you'll get the same thing. On performance, go to settings and choose adjust for best performance. And go check, I would prefer check smooth edges for screen fonts and use drop shadows. The rest you don't really need, they don't affect the daily use of your computer. Like browse the internet, it won't really affect it. But for the overall look, I would, I, for me, I would just smooth edges of screen font and use drop shadows. Okay, okay, it will prompt you to restart your computer now or start later. Just restart later. This next step is to ha increase your page file. Now, page file is basically like backup RAM. RAM is the thing is what you, the space that a program needs to run. The more RAM you have, the faster the program runs. Page file is slower than RAM because it's basically virtual RAM, quote unquote virtual RAM, but it's better. But it's better to have nothing, right? Because it does improve the performance of your computer. So you would go to computer, right click on computer again, properties, advanced system settings. On performance, go to settings again. But instead of visual effects, you will go to advanced, right? Adjust best performance for programs. And for virtual memory, change. Now uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Now click on the drives you want. Remember this works on flash drives too. But be warned, if you do it on flash drives, do not take out the flash drive during computer use because it will crash or, be, or Windows will become unstable. But for, for this laptop, I will just use my C drive because I don't need a flash drive. This computer is it's a one year old computer and it handles just fine. So on the C drive, Press custom size and select the megabytes you want. In this case, for me, I select, I don't exactly know the exact megabytes for 5,632 megabytes, uh, I mean, sorry, gigabytes. So it, I, it ranges around 5.5 .5 gigs. Right, click set. Okay, apply. Okay. Okay. It will prompt you to restart now or start later. Just restart later. The next step is to uninstall any unwanted programs because they programs bog down your memory and the more programs you have the more bogged down it has for example I so say I don't need uTorrent I, I will I, I'll, un, I'll uninstall it later so I have so uninstall I, I, I don't I'm sorry I, I don't want to reinstall it again I'm sorry but just uninstall anything you don't need, like you never use or you barely use or try your software or, or any bloated software that came with your computer, just uninstall those and, and do not restart yet. Even though it prompts, if, if it ha say if it's like Norton and you want to uninstall, just restart the computer. The next step that you would like to do is turn some Windows features off, the, the Windows features that you don't need. So you will go to the control panel. Go to uninstall program again, and on the left hand corner, it will say turn Windows features on and off. Click on that. For Windows Vista, a, uh, a pop up notice will come up just allow, cancel allow, because that's the user account control. Unselect any Windows features you don't need. You would like to keep Net Framework, uh, print and document services if you need a print, remote differential compression API support, you won't want that on you do not want to uncheck that and uh and file sharing support you would not want that you would want that my bad you would want that 
for the rest it depends on you if you don't want it like internet explorer you don't really need it because you have optional other browsers that are apparently better like google chrome and for media features you could just use vlc media player but if you want windows media play that would be good and you will not uncheck that press ok it will take a while and it will ask you to restart the computer now or restart later restart later because we still have some things to do the next thing is to change the theme now for windows xp do you have this for windows xp this star seven you would have this windows classic theme that is the theme that uses the less processing and that is the best but if you don't want for windows xp you could it doesn't really matter but for vista and seven you have this windows basic theme now it keeps the um up look of the windows vista and seven but instead of the arrow transparency which takes up a lot of processing and graphics because transparency yes transparency it so it basically disables transparency and improves the performance of your computer now for windows 8 you are stuck with the original theme and for 8.1 it gets even more um fancier but there is this hidden theme called windows light i call it windows light cut it because it is a light theme and here's how you should how you get it it does improve the com performance of the computer slightly but hey it's still better than nothing right so you go to right click for windows 8 or windows 7 right click on personalize you get this personalization click any one of the high contrast theme don't worry it will not end up like that it will not end up like that all right all right and then click on cover on another window on on the desktop right click on personalize again now it's sort of a bug like there is a windows light theme inside windows but it's like going through a bug to get it now select the windows theme on the second window not on the first window with the color on the one with the color and appearance with the text hyperlinks disable text selected text right here press save changes now you have this arrow theme now this is laggy and you would not want that go on color again and press any color you want now you put all you could also go back to automatic but make sure you press on any other color first then press automatic save changes and there you go there's your windows light theme it's pretty simple right the next thing that you would want is to go, go to ccleaner.com all right so ccleaner.com and you want to install ccleaner now i have ccleaner installed already so so go to ccleaner clean any registry that you don't need so you would scan for issues just check all of those because the registry the unused the bad registry files really slow down the it doesn't really slow down but it does slow down the performance of your computer slightly and just remember even though each step does it each thing does improve the computer the performance of your computer slightly every little thing combines into one big thing so just press fix select the issue no backup changes for me you would want backup changes and fix issue press close for cleaner you will want to check the things that you want to be clean and, pr and just press one cleaner and C cleaner is a free tool and it's really handy the next thing that you will want is this cleanup. So go to start this cleanup. For Windows XP, is start all programs, accessory, system tools, and this cleanup. Select the drive you want to clean up. And it will sir and it will detect the things that that's needed. It's loading right now. I shall, I shall pause it. All right. Now, after it's done loading, you will get this. Check everything. Check everything. And before you do that, clean up system files, and you will click OK again, and it will load again. 
I'm gonna pause this video and then I'll go get back to you. Now you will get this, just check everything. Let me just check it while well, I'm saving 1.2 gigabytes right now. It's really good. Okay. Programs and features clean up. And for system restoring shadow co copies. Now, every time you do something, most of the time, they will set a system restore. So in case anything goes wrong, that system restore will help you. Now you can delete all the system restore points except for the most recent one. And that it usually works for me. So you, should, you could just delete them. Wait for a while. This cleanup will load. And then you could click OK to delete everything every junk file you need this will increase the hard drive space that you have and it will benefit your computer at the same time press ok terminal delete files yes and i will get back to you after it is done because it will take a long time okay so right now it is at the last stop right now just wait for a little while While we while we wait, let's go to the next step. The next step is to disable any service services you don't need and start up. And start up items you don't need. Now C Cleaner has startup. Just go to C Cleaner that you downloaded before. Tools and startup. Here are the things that are that are starting up from your computer. You could just disable it there. For Windows XP Vista 7, 8. But Press the Windows and R key together and you will bring up run. Type msconfig, I'll type it again because I just really like typing. So msconfig, press OK. Now you could just press start and press msconfig. You don't really need to run Windows, but for Windows XP, you do. All right, go to services and disable any services you don't need. Now you can hide all Microsoft service in case you don't know what you are doing or if those are important because usually the Microsoft Surface are important but some of the Microsoft Surface like tablet services they, you don't really need that so you could just disable it I'll press apply go to startup and disable any services startup services you don't need because anything that you don't need for it to start up will slow it will slow down your computer you don't disable it but for windows 8 you can open task manager and disable it there press ok and it will prompt you to restart now or start later press restart later oh actually you could restart now and restart your computer all together and there you have it. These are the simple steps to improve the speed of your computer for free. Thank you very much. That, as you can see here, the disk cleanup is still loading. But as it's done, you will have a lot more space. As you can see here, I got 548 now. Thank you very much and have a great day.